Welcome back to the Farm Products channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to seriously improve your heating efficiency in your greenhouse during the winter time, which translates into saving you money. And one of those ways, we're going to be using some belt from a round baler. Let's go check it out. All right, so inside your greenhouse, there's a lot of space that you don't need to heat. What we're going to do is work off the bottom of these trusses, since it's a nice flat surface, and we're going to install a sheet of plastic using some baling twine. And that's going to do a couple of things for us. One, it's going to decrease the amount of space that we need to physically heat um, on top of our plants, but also it's going to create an air space between the sheet of plastic and the roof itself, which is also just a thin sheet of plastic. And that's going to create a dead air space and air is a fantastic insulator. And that's going to minimize the amount of heat that we're losing through the roof, which as heat rises, that's where it wants to go anyways. So we're going to attack one of the places that we're losing the most heat and that's going to give us the best return. So right now I'm going along and I'm using these. These are clips used for barbed wire fence that hook onto the barbed wire, wrap around the T-post, and you twist it to fix the barbed wire to the T-post. These work really well for grabbing the twine in these long stretches where it tends to sag and then going poking a hole through the plastic and going up and around the bottom of the truss. And that gives it a little bit more support. That's helpful because water tends to condense on the bottom of the plastic and then it drips down and you'll get these little pools of water building up and it helps from getting some really, really big pools uh, of water. So that's a little tip that we found helpful. All right, so we're about halfway done and it's a little bit of work, but it's not too bad, a couple hours. And the amount of difference though, that this is gonna make in the heating bill that you have for your greenhouse, it, whatever work it takes and the, a little bit of money it costs to get a couple sheets of plastic and some twine, man, it's really well worth the effort. Item number two is to take care of these big gaps that we have around the door. You can see from the year before that I had put up some temporary skirting. It was in better shape last year and sealed up a little bit better, but it was a real thin material. So this year we're using some old belt from a round baler and that's a lot thicker. It'll act more like an actual seal on a door. So I had to put down a kind of a unique strip along the bottom because the ground outside of the door where it swings wouldn't allow me to get it tight to the ground. It, the door just wouldn't open. So I did this kind of as a temporary thing. I'll take it down in the summer so we don't trip over it a bunch. Um, but from there, we just put the belt all the way around the door on the inside so that when we pull it, it's really a tight fit for the door. All right, so we're all done with the door here and I really am happy with the way this sealed up. Before you could run your hand along and feel all these places where there was a draft, there was cold air coming in. And now I don't feel, I don't feel anything along the whole thing. So that is great now when it's a, you know, it's kind of cold outside, but if we get some temperatures like we did last year, where we were down in the negative twenties, oh man, that really makes a huge difference. So sealing up any drafty spots for us, the biggest offender was our doors is a real win. So we got our draft sealed up around the doors. We got our drop ceiling put in. We're feeling pretty good now about the greenhouse going through winter. And if you have your own land, you know how good it feels to have things prepared for cold weather before the cold weather shows up. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.